Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to render a class component to the DOM. You may remember using React to DOM API as an, in an earlier challenge to render JSX elements to the DOM. The process for rendering React components will look very similar. The past few challenges focused on components and composition, so the rendering was done for you behind the scenes. However, uh, none of the React code you write will render to the DOM without making a call to the React DOM API. Here's a refresher on the syntax. So we've got react dom.render, and then we have the component to render and the target node, meaning what part of the application or what part of the DOM we're going to add it to, and then we're going to add in the component that we're going to render there. The first argument is, <laughs> is the React component that you want to render, and the second argument is the DOM node that you want to render that com component with. Uh, React components are passed into React DOM dot render a little differently uh, than JSX elements. For JSX elements, you pass in the name of the element that you want to render. However, for React components, you need to use the same syntax as if you were rendering a nested component. For example, React DOM dot render, and then you put the component to render and the target node. Um, yeah, however, the React component, you need to use the same syntax as if you were rendering a nested component, for example. Oh, okay, so you put your component in just like that. Uh, you, c you use this syntax for both ES6 class components and functional components. Both fruits and vegetables components are defined for you behind the scenes. Render both components as children of, t of the types of food component, and then render the types of food to the DOM. <clears throat> there is a div with the ID of challenge node available for you to use. Okay, awesome. So we want to do fruits and vegetables and we want to add that to the types of food component and then we're going to render that to the DOM. Uh, the DOM has, if you right click here and we go inspect, we'll see that um, within the body there's a challenge node already um, created. So there's a div with an ID of challenge node. And that's what we want to react or we want to add the React component to. So the first thing that we'll do is put in um, fruits. And then we'll go vegetables. Cool. And uh, we can just get rid of this comments. And then now here we want to um, render this component to the DOM. So we'll go uh, react DOM dot render and then <clears throat> our types of food is the uh, component that we're going to use. So here we'll go uh, it's types of food and then we're going to close that one and then we're going to add in finally the target node which is the challenge ID. So we're going to say uh, <clears throat> document dot get element by ID and we're going to get the challenge node wow okay cool so it all popped up like that now this looks pretty ugly it's this one single line of code takes up three three things if I stretch it out like this I still don't even have <clears throat> the capacity to keep it on one line. So I'm going to get rid of this, change this, and just call this one. We're going to say let uh, the target node equal this. Um, and yeah, sometimes JavaScript's just kind of long. And so now we've got a variable for the target node, and we can just add that into here. And I think that'll work as well. Um, run the tests. Yeah. So uh, that's that's how it works. So yeah, this one it could be kind of tricky if you're not really familiar with this stuff. So what we're doing is we're having, <clears throat> we're doing, we're, uh, um, we're adding the types of food component, which is this whole class. And when you say, when React runs its processes, it says types of food dot render. And this causes, this is a function which we call. Uh, and then the, so the render function returns this JSX element, or maybe this is a component and it returns here so this is the html that gets pumped in to here and then where are we pumping it into the target node and the way we get that is we go talk document dot get element by id and then we say challenge node 
What does get element by ID and, and document do? Well, if you open up the console, you can see if you were to add that here, oh, I don't know why it never gets it the first time. And it's not getting it now. That's weird. Doc challenge challenge. Maybe if I like, um, let pow equal dog. No, it's not getting it. Hmm, that's weird. That's just a, uh, but let's say this is, uh, man, I'm not really exactly sure why that's not working, but, uh, this is basically the right idea. So yeah, <clears throat> this is the target mode. This just means where in the DOM do you want to put it? So we're saying in the document, there is an, uh, I, an, I, a div with an ID of challenge node. And so we want to add the types of food to the document in the position of challenge node. And so that's what we do. Um, so yeah, I think that this one might be kind of tricky if you're unfamiliar with the whole DOM system and uh, document object model. I know when I went through this uh, the first time, this was completely baffling to me and I don't think I really learned um, React very well for the first time because it was kind of easy to just figure out the way that things worked. So I'm just trying to go in a little bit greater into detail here to help you guys learn faster. So hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.